let's check out the best feature of Chrome OS Flex. So the first one is going to be the screen recorder. So you can access it from the quick toggles or by pressing the print key on your keyboard. And we have some settings but some of them are not visible because I'm recording. So you can see the picture. We have options to change mic and also add our camera. And uh, we have option to click a screenshot or screen record of a particular area. So just drag your mouse and select an area and you can uh, capture a screenshot and even if you want to record a video of that area you can do that too. So this is how it appears. And apart from this we also have option to screen record or screenshot a particular window like this is a chrome browser window and this is a settings and if you go back to the screenshot option and choose the window you can see it automatically detects the window and once you click on it you can capture a screenshot and even create like record a video of that only window so i already have made a video like recorded a screen recording of a window you can see this in this example So this is the window that I screen recorded. We find these features usually in an additional app in Windows but all these features is built in into the Chrome OS Flex so it really makes it easy to screen record or screenshot. The next best feature that I liked was the Google Assistant. So we can access it from the launcher and it takes up both the voice commands and type. We can. Uh, like ask for a simple commands like the weather or our reminders but what makes it uh, better is the ability to control our home devices from our laptop so we are very used to do this from our phone so this makes it really handy and when you do not want to use your phone all the time so I really like this feature of the Google Assistant in the Chrome OS Flex the next best feature that I like is the nearby share which is available on only Android devices. So you can simply select a file and then share and select nearby share and your Android device will appear and you can simply send your files that easily and uh, using it on the laptop makes it really easy to share files between your phone and your computer. To receive the files go to the quick toggles and enable the nearby visibility. And after a while you will see your device name and the file and now you can choose to accept the file and your file will be received so this is the procedure to receive and send files using the nearby share and uh, I use this on a daily basis and it has made sharing files really easy so the next one is going to be the Android phone integration so in the settings and in the connected devices you can choose to like connect your android device so we see a lot of options the phone hub which is the main attraction and we can also share some the mobile data using hotspot but the phone hub what it does it's great uh, on the quick toggle it creates a menu and from here you can silence your phone locate your phone see your notification messages your recent photos and media your battery percentage and you can also reply to text messages so this makes it a really handy tool and uh, saves you from checking your phone multiple times and helps you in your productivity. The next best feature that I want to show you is under the accessibility settings and if you scroll down you will see options that says enable dictation and once you do that whenever there is a text field you can simply click on it and then on the bottom on the bottom side you can see this mic icon and just enable that now you can just talk into your into your mic and whatever you say is going to be written but it is a continuous format so it won't stop and it will give you some seconds before it stops so you can continue your dictation it has some features for select all delete undo and redo 
so for uh, article writing and anything it's going to be a really handy tool and uh, it is a really advanced feature that we are seeing in modern ios and android devices so yeah detection is a really cool feature that you should must try the last best feature is uh, something you must be all aware of is the linux support so you can enable the linux from your settings in the developer option and once you do that you can install a lot of linux applications so for example if i run the sudo app install libreoffice so the libreoffice has been installed and you can see and i can also open the application so it kind of removes the limitation that we have on the chrome os flex giving us the access to a host of linux applications which are quite uh, advanced like this one and it's only uh, like i've made a lot of videos about uh, linux and things you can do so you can also check that out so yeah this is this is one of the best features also of the chrome os flex and so with that that was the end of this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one